Patients don't die from cancer alone. They die from waiting. The cancer system is built on population health. It needs to be precision targeted for you. That makes a difference. Care delayed is care denied. We refuse to wait. The cure isn't decades away. Targeted solutions exist now, and the barriers are access, speed, and getting it to the right patient. Every day of delay costs lives, and the work we do is to break those barriers, developing a precision ecosystem to get the patients the care they need right now. Now. If you feel stuck in your treatment, lacking in what you need in the one-size-fits-all pathway of cancer treatment, this episode's for you. The Cancer Industrial Complex rewards a process over patients. Prior authorizations and step therapies can slow things down significantly. Guidelines can lag behind your biology and your proper biological markers. And drug pipelines and the pharma world can take decades before they're delivered to you with the proper treatment options you need. Patients don't have to do that. They don't have to wait. Today, I'm going to show you how to spot these barriers, collapse them, and get precision care that can make all the difference for you. Hi, I'm Dr. Dino Prado, founder of Invita Medical Centers. For the last 25 years, my team and I have helped thousands of patients that have failed the top cancer hospitals across the country. I'll explain what's holding you back from the best care, from precision, and how to work around that. Let's start with the cancer industrial complex, how the system works. And I've done other episodes on this, but I'll get a little summary. A cancer industrial complex that optimizes through utilization and not patient care. One size fits all done on double blind placebo clinical trials, which is not targeted for you. That means two people with the same type and stage of cancer when you run thousands of marker instead of what they typically run now, which is like maybe 20, 24 markers, a tumor marker, biopsy and imaging. But when you run a thousand markers, DNA, next generation sequencing, transcript nomics, spatial biology, immune profiling, and it's done specifically for you called N of one. Now you find that cancers are different and everybody's targets are different and two patients are not the same and they need custom treatment. That changes the game. Most patients with cancer report having to wait for prior authorization, delayed care in this one size fits all system. This was reported in JAMA. Newer studies now show that you have this prior authorization delay. So you've got insurance delaying access to care, insurance denying precision care. How are the patients supposed to get the care they need? And you need to get out of the system so that you can get the care you need today. This treatment is too slow and not moving moving fast enough. It's step therapy. You have to fail this before you can start this. That's how the commercial system works. It's not in your best benefit because when we test patients, we find that 90% of our cancer patients are on the wrong chemotherapy and drugs, but they had to wait all this time even to do the therapy they did in their previous oncology care. They started care, failed, went into another regimen and failed. So this is not good. With delays, delaying patient care, delaying testing, targeting, and the advancement of technology, that can be life-saving. Delays aren't just harmless patients paperwork in cancer. Time can cost somebody's life. And that's why we need to move away from the population health pathways and the averages and focus on precision, the individual you, planning on your DNA, RNA, as I just went over, and tumor microenvironment. What are the driving causes of your cancer? Root cause analysis, your ability to detoxify, chemicals, heavy metals, pesticides, infections, reestablishing your immune system, helping your metabolism. Studies like I Predict and Nature, and we saw this with studies like Winter, they showed that when you have the DNA and RNA information, patients respond better. And we've taken that to a whole nother level with our work in precision oncology. Because we look at DNA, RNA, immune profiling, spatial biology, and combine that data with heat maps and molecular targets so we know exactly what you need. Conventional, on-label, off-label, natural agents customized, and then given in micro doses so you feel healthy and strong while you're getting the response of killing the cancer. And we're using leading indicators, circulating tumor cells, methylation score, CT-free DNA, not just tumor markers and imaging, which are markers that only come along after the tumor is regrown somewhere. So these are all barriers. Insurance doesn't cover the latest in technologies. They want to call this stuff all new or developing care, but it's just not. The data is there. Another barrier is the slow drug pipeline. It benefits pharma to develop drugs that manage cancer and don't treat it. If you look at most of the drugs today that are being approved or in the pipeline for approval, they're all management drugs. They work on cytostatic, slowing the cancer down, not cytostatic toxic, killing the cancer. So it takes the physician and the algorithms to do the work and the deep mapping to make sure your treatment is immune centric because the immune system
system does kill cancer and making sure your treatments are centered on killing the cancer, not just managing it. When we look at peer reviewed data and we look at these estimates of all of the overall survival of all the latest new drug developments, what are we looking at? Three, three and a half months? That's not really impressive. But if we can customize with great science care for each individual, we can increase those numbers significantly as we published in 2024. Our paper showed 35 times, not 35%, better responses in late stage cancer than standard of care oncology and 43 times better quality of life than standard of care oncology, which is an even more important metric because people need health now, not later. And we see things like games being played, like fast track approval by FDA, where oftentimes it may work to help the patient temporarily, but when they do studies later on, they find that only 41% of them actually showed to improve the survival for the patient. See, that's not gonna help us. But if we know what each individual needs, we can develop it. So what I'm really talking about here is pushing to an N of one treatment pathway for patients so they can get the care they need with the detailed testing that helps. Patients deserve the truth. They deserve to have these targets done for them. They deserve precision matching. And that's the work we've done. We've broken free from the barriers so we can help our patients not have to wait for pre-authorization and all the insurance games that deny all the latest technologies, but give the patients the care they need now, the right care care, the care that makes the difference that's unique for their needs. This is important. This overcomes the delays that we see, and it overcomes the problem of waiting for one therapy to fail and step into another therapy. We can get right to the care now. Less guesswork, more life, better targeting. That's the key. That's what we do. That's been the work of our clinic over the last 25 years is that kind of targeting. And that deep mapping and that targeting and that combination of medicines that are right for the patient makes all the difference. It goes after the drivers of the cancer and and helps our patients to respond better. I hope this was helpful and I hope this gave you a better understanding of targeting and oncology and the care that really can make a difference. May the Lord bless you on your journey to healing.